Hey guys, Dustin Russell from the Silverback Strength Crew. We are back um, with a lot of changes. Uh, over the last six months or however long it took for us to come back, I know there's some times that we do a video and say we're back and we're changing things and, and different things, but let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on and I'm gonna go over some stuff real quick before we hit the gym. Um, what we've changed with this whole thing is everything. I mean, from the ground up, Everything that I thought Silverback was has changed uh, tremendously. I hope it's for the better. I pray it's for the better. Um, God willing, it is for the better. So what it started out to be uh, last year when I had this idea for Silverback was putting people together as a lifting group, um, being there, training people, uh, you know, motivational stuff like that. It was a great idea. Uh, it was poorly executed. I, I can say that for myself. Um, not knowing what exactly I was doing, just trying to do something. Um, then I had a lot of input from other people, a lot of, hey, you should do this. Why aren't you doing this? It'd be better if you did this. Uh, and it, it all got to me. There was a lot of what you're doing should directly reflect you and put everybody toward you in the aspect of me, I will tell you right now, I am not one person that wants all eyes on me, um, or to be the center of attention in what this is or what this was supposed to be. I took time off mentally. Um, I still have been working out, still trying to train and focus on what that is in competing. Uh, although 2020, I haven't competed at all in 2020 due to this Corona crap that's been going on. Um, but I've been praying a lot. So a couple months ago, two months ago, um, I know this is going to be TMI a little bit. This is how it's going to be. I was in the shower and I believe God spoke to me. Um, you know, in that still small voice that he does. And he pointed me to a direction that Silverback is meant to go in. And this is how it's going to be. We are going to be very open we are going to be very blunt. We are going to be very in-depth with the way we go now. Um, the videos, we're still trying to figure out the timeline on those, how soon to put those out, how much. Because a lot of that goes into not burning yourself out too much. You're trying to put too much out there and not have good quality like this right here. I, I would love to be outside shooting this video uh, where my camera is not going black, dark and light and dark and light. But this is what it is for now. Um, what Silverback is going to is what I believe it always should have been. It's going to be lifting based, but godly lifting. It's going to be the mental side of what inside the gym is. I know I've talked to my brother um, and we had a very good conversation about what I wanted to do, what my vision was what God was telling me my vision should be and what my direction should be. Um, I know at the beginning of all of this, I was not putting God first. I was not allowing God to use me the way that God wanted to and, and what the capabilities of him through me could happen. So I am going to start opening up about my life, um, about my journey through lifting, through my childhood, uh, through my depression, um, through all of this from me being, you know, abused as a child, uh, going into depression, going into switching from parents, mom to dad, dad to mom, going from that to suicidal thoughts to, you know, divorces and having children in, in a lot of my life. And I'm really going to start opening up. Um, I'm scared. Uh, nobody knows that, that I'm actually terrified to put my life out there. Uh, I don't want any, number one, I don't want any pity parties. I don't want what I went through. I don't want messages saying, oh my gosh, I so feel so sorry for you. Any, I don't want any of that. That's number one. I, I was worried about, you know, it's a million messages. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. No, God has allowed me to deal with a ton of things in my life. And I believe it's for the purpose of this right here. It's for what I went through. If I can help one person, one, then my life is well worth it. 
I, I truly believe that if one person gets anything out of the messages that we're going to have, then I'll be a blessed man. If you can forget my name, I'm fine with that. If you remember Jesus Christ, the Son of God, King of Kings, Lord of all, if you remember him, that's what I want. I've done my job and I'll be proud of anything. So that's what Silverback's going to become. That's what Silverback's all about now. Yes, we will still do training videos. Yes, we will still do the goofiness with Hugh. Um, I know some people love that and they don't want him to go anywhere. And I want to be that side too. I want to have that fun. And that's what it's all going to be all about. But Silverback is, is going to transform internally because it has to. I, I look around the gym and I see people, just as me and my brother spoke about, you know, people wearing hood sweatshirts in the gym, not really talking to anybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and I started to wonder, what are they dealing with? Why are they truly in this gym or any gym for that matter? Have we ever really thought about that being lifters, being people? You know, I know 2020 has sucked and there's a lot of stuff going on depression wise, a lot of things that are not going right. And it's not just Corona. This world is, is taking a, a turn for the worse and it's getting darker. I mean, politically, it doesn't matter which side you're on. You're depressed about the other side. You're mad. You're angry. Corona has, has trapped us in our houses for periods of time where we're not meant to be trapped alone. We are meant to socialize and be out in the public. We're meant to have that interaction. We've gone through all of that to this point in October. You know, I got depressed the other day and kind of sad that Halloween is going to happen. But as a parent, am I safe and comfortable with taking my son out to get candy? It's the first year that we've ever had to deal with this. Um, I pray it never happens again. I pray for a cure. I pray for something to get done about COVID. I pray for this world every day. So that's where Silverback is going to go. We're going to start looking at the mental aspect. You know, we, we talk about coaches in sports and we talk about basketball, football, soccer. Before they play the game, they always have a game plan. They always go through the mental aspect of what that game entails. We never do that with lifting. I watched a video some time ago with Louis Simmons from Westside Barbell talk about it. And it kind of made you think of like, oh my goodness, all we do is write programs. We say, hey, do this, this set, this many reps, this workout, eat this diet. But we never talk about the mental side of anything. We never talk about the kids that are being bullied. And all they want to do is go in the gym and just get stronger so they're not getting bullied anymore. We don't talk about the families that are separated and the kids that are in the gym or out in this life to just have some kind of release because they can't deal with the abuse at home or they can't deal with the, the fighting and the arguing at home. So they get out of the house. Praise the Lord. They're in a gym and they're not somewhere else doing something else. But this gym or any gym has become a release. I want to change the release mentality into a focus driven mindset. Guys, I'm with you. I have bipolar depression. I have suicidal thoughts. I fight them a lot. But I will tell you, my story is going to open a lot of people's eyes. I'm going to hurt some people's feelings, and I don't mean to. I promise you I don't mean to. I don't mean to offend anybody in this world. There's a lot of people in my family that have no idea what's been going on for my 39 years of life. All the thoughts and the anger and the just frustration inside of me. So, guys, that's where we're at right now. Just trust me. It's going to take us a while to get there. The road's going to be long, but it's going to be worth it. Stay with us. Keep watching. Like and share the videos. If you find something in them that you like, you agree with, send me a message. Call me. Most people know my number. If you want to know my number, message me. I'll, I'll give it to you. You can call me. If you are struggling, Dustin, I need help. Reach out. If I can't help you, I will find you help. I promise. I know some people told me don't promise that. I promise I will find you help some way, somehow. If you don't want to talk to me about your problems, we'll find you somebody. There, there's people out there. There's groups. There's organizations. We will find them together. If you just want to say, hey, I don't agree with what you're talking about, send me a message. That's fine. 
there's one thing I will not do. I will not argue. If you want to slander people and you want to make fun of people, you just go on somewhere else. If you want to discuss topics, bring them on. Let's discuss them. But guys, you know, it's, it's funny to say this, and it's probably funny to hear it from a guy, but I love each and every one of you. God love the world. I love you guys. So stick around. Silverback is changing. It's going to be an awesome, fun time. My English has not gotten any better. So there's going to be a whole lot of discussions of, oh my gosh, has he ever read a dictionary? Not very well. If it ain't got pictures, I ain't reading it. So guys, love you. Have a great day. Have a good weekend and welcome to the journey.